Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I'm going to talk about two interesting new ransomware variants. Over the past week, security researchers from various organizations have found two interesting ransomware variants. One is called Satana, and the other one is called Ranscam. Satana was actually discovered by one of our security partners, Kaspersky, and it's interesting because it combines two different categories of ransomware. There's actually many different categories of ransomware. Some of the original ransomware was called locker ransomware because it tried to just lock your computer and get you stuck on a desktop with no control. Some is called MBR or master boot record ransomware because it takes over your master boot record so your computer can't properly boot into an OS. Of course the most common ransomware nowadays is something called crypto ransomware and this is ransomware that encrypts files on your computer and that is really the most successful ransomware that has caused this big increase in ransomware. In any case Satana is in interesting because it actually combines MBR ransomware with crypto ransomware. Like some of the other MBR samples from the past, like Petya, it does actually overwrite part of your MBR, your master boot record, so that your computer can't boot into Windows. Instead, you'll get a text message giving you information on how to contact an email address to pay this particular ransom. Now, normally getting infected with MBR ransomware wasn't a big deal because if you're technically savvy, there were often ways to recover your computer and get back into your OS. But the problem is Satana actually combines this with typical crypto ransomware, meaning it also has already encrypted your files just like other crypto ransomware in the background. So even if you do recover and get back into your OS to get onto your computer, you are going to have encrypted files and you're still going to have to deal with the problem. The second piece of interesting ransomware is Ranscam. This was found by the Cisco Talus Security Research Group. Now Ranscam is actually ransomware that doesn't really work properly. Rather, Ranscam seems to be a very simple variant of ransomware which pretends to be crypto ransomware. So you'll get a typical message saying your files are encrypted and you need to pay so much to get it back. But in reality, Ranscam hasn't encrypted your files. Rather, it's already deleted them. So really paying the ransomware is pointless because you're not going to get your files back. It really seems to just be taking advantage of the popularity of ransomware to get people to pay. Now the good news with Ranscam is deleting your files can be recoverable. A lot of the crypto ransomware that does encrypt your files actually wipes them so that recovery software can't get them back. However, in Ranscam's case, since it's just deleting your files, you might have a chance to recover them with normal recovery software. Anyway, I just thought it was two interesting evolutions to ransomware. Really, Satana is the only worrisome one, as it does actually make the ransomware a little more dangerous, whereas Ranscam is just someone taking advantage of the boom in ransomware. In either case, neither of these threats seem to have blown up yet. Nonetheless, I think it's a good time to really uh, remind you of some of the ways you can protect yourself from this. First of all, make sure to back up. Gosh forbid if you ever get ransomware, if you have a backup, at least you don't have to worry about your data. Second, make sure to patch. Often the ways these bad guys push ransomware to you is through vulnerabilities in your software. So if you patch, often they can't take advantage of those vulnerabilities. Of course, make sure to talk to your users so that they don't interact with links to weird websites and they don't interact with emails that might have document or executable attachments. Finally, I really heavily recommend that you update your layers of security with what's called advanced threat or advanced malware protection. Antivirus is good. You should have that and keep it up to date. But the new advanced malware detection systems out there, like WatchGuard's APT blocker, can really help catch some of these newer variants much quicker. By the way, before I end this video, I just wanted to share a couple of updates about WatchGuard and the blog that hosts this particular video. If you visit uh, this video from our blog, you might have noticed that we've gone through an exciting new redesign. Rather than being WatchGuard Security Center, we're now the Secplicity blog. And Secplicity, of course, is the combination of security and simplicity. Really Really, our blog is about taking security information and making it consumable by everyone possible. In any case, we're very excited about this redesign. WatchGuard Security Center will redirect you to this new redesign blog, and if you've subscribed before, your subscription should still work. Nonetheless, I recommend you update your bookmarks to secplicity.org. 
Next up, I want to mention that we've changed the WatchGuard Twitter handle. If you follow WatchGuard using the at WatchGuardTech Twitter handle, you should know we've changed it to at WatchGuard. So you should make sure to change your following to the at WatchGuard Twitter handle, and of course, enjoy the extra four characters on your Twitter posts. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.